Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, I think it's time to do an update on my largest tarantula in my collection. And as you can see, she's in the middle of the enclosure, which is a little bit rare for her. She's always cooped up in the corner by the water dish. So uh, let's take a closer look. So everyone, as you can see, my largest tarantula in my collection my Theraphosa apophysis, Pinkfoot Glyph Bird Eater, is having a bit of a clean. And you can see how large her fangs are. They've got to be at least an inch. And that's uh, one spider I would not like to get bit by. It could uh, definitely do some damage. And she's decided to move to the middle of her enclosure. She's usually curled up in the corner by the water dish but I uh, I soaked the uh, substrate yesterday and I uh, woke up this morning and she's uh, in the middle of her enclosure having a clean so I thought I'd uh, do a quick video for you guys I haven't shown her for a while and uh, she's a beautiful tarantula And I love when uh, tarantulas start doing this. This is very, uh, very fascinating. I have seen it a few times on uh, tarantula Facebook groups. And uh, a few people don't know what they're doing. So anybody that's new to the hobby, no need to worry. They're just having a clean. Unfortunately, my light's going on my uh, flashlight <laughs> I need to put a new battery in there we go everybody that's a bit better I've just changed the uh, battery in the in my flashlight it's a bit more uh, brighter for you guys so hopefully in the next three or four months hopefully she'll be flipping over she's around about a nine inch leg span if I just uh, slowly move the camera She's a big girl, and that's when I just said earlier, I soaked all the substrate yesterday. That's the best way to do it, everybody. Just get a big jug of water and just pour it all over the substrate. Best way to do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to another tarantula show on the 5th of November. It's at a place called Doncaster, and um, I've never been to this show before. So this will be my fourth tarantula show this year and as you know my Cameroon crab spider female sadly passed away so her enclosure is empty and I've got another arboreal enclosure that's empty as well so possibly I could be getting a couple of uh, arboreal species, female of course because I live a lot longer. So... Yeah, my uh, good friend texted me last night and said, you want to go? I said, I would be more than happy to go. So she's having a good, a good clean, everybody. I thought she must have been eating, but sometimes I can just have a good clean anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this update video of my Theraphosa apophysis, my Pinkfoot Goliath bird eater. And uh, thanks for watching everyone.